Hey there, Site42 staff, Dr. Theron Sherman here, and today we are reacting to Find Us Alive Episode 00, Please Respond. Since this is a new series, a little backstory. Find Us Alive is an SCP fiction podcast put together by SCP community comedy cryptid Radiger. It tells the story of an SCP site, Site 107, that mysteriously disappears into an extra dimensional space along with its occupants. That's all I know about this show going in, besides the fact that diehard fans say this is one of those why am I crying over fictional characters type shows, and you know I live for the drama, so let's go! Oh, before we begin, this is a highlight reel of my reaction to the episode. What you're gonna wanna do is head over to Find Us Alive on YouTube or a podcast platform, listen to the whole episode, and then come back for the reaction. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe while you're over there. And if you really wanna watch the whole thing with me, we have the full watch-alongs available for patrons and channel members. And if you're watching this before January 2nd, 2024, Find Us Alive is currently up for an Audioverse Award, so go to the link in the description and give them a vote so we can win a good SCP podcast some sweet, sweet clout. On with the video! Mayday! 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 Force Command, come in. This is Site 107 requesting immediate correspondence. That doesn't sound good. Site 01, respond! Site 107 experiencing... Shit! I hate when we're experiencing shit. shit. Emergency code Tango November Lima 616. We are experiencing unprecedented anomalous activity from SCP-6320. Emergency code Tango for Lima 66. Overwatch command, respond! Over! Some answer me! Somebody go! Overwatch command! Where the hell are Overwatch Command, this is Dr. Edmund Harley at Site-107. We have determined that Site-107 has experienced a Class M dimensional shift. 53 dead, 34 injured, 17 unaccounted for, may have been outside the building when the shift occurred. There are... Um, 92 of us alive in here. Still waiting to hear back uh, about how much food and water we have. And oxygen, for that matter. Backup generator is working, but that has an expiration date on it too. If anyone is hearing this transmission, please respond. Doesn't have to be Overwatch Command. Just anyone. Wowza, what a setup. I wonder if the people who are outside the site actually are safe, like they were outdoors and so they are just left behind. Or if they're in a worse place. Ooh, I need to read 6320 later. I don't think that was around when they started the podcast. And so I think they, like, wrote that now? I'll have to look at that later. This is Site 107. Come in, Overwatch Command. You'll never guess what happened today. So, you know how none of the doors will open and none of the elevators to the surface are working? Well, they... Blew through a wall today. <laughs> yeah, a couple of bricks of C4 onto the wall out by the entrance lobby. <laughs> and you know what happened? I'll tell you what happened. More. Wall. <laughs> they blew up the wall and it just kept going. Just more drywall and rebar and support beams like... More copies of the same wall. We had like four or five of the security officers try and keep digging through it. Infinitely more wall, which is on par for this kind of work. It's all been pretty standard stuff so far, I guess. Trapped with no outside contact in the void, maybe? Just another Tuesday for the Foundation. <laughs> oh. Wait, it's Thursday. <laughs> Wait, it's Thursday. Uh, so, you gotta be a little bit on the edge already, my friend, if this is enough to break you. How long have they been in there yet? Uh, I mean, he's right. We do deal with weird stuff like this all the time. I wonder how long it was until they decided to blow up the walls. Eh, spatial anomalies. Good evening, Overwatch Command. This is your late night DJ, Dr. Harley. Tonight marks the seventh day we have been in here. Hope you're all feeling mellow. And if you're not, just let the silky tones of this radio broadcast bring you to your happy place. I have 
actually barricaded myself into the communications office on account of the riot happening outside. I don't know if you could hear that, listeners, but it appears our whole staff of our little research operation is a bit on edge. All is not calm at Site 107, it seems. <laughs> I hope the evening is calm wherever you are. Hey! Somebody in there? You better come out. We're having a mandatory staff meeting. That sounds like Agent Love out there. Don't worry, listeners. She can't hear us underneath the desk. I can hear you muttering in there. We're perfectly camouflaged. You're all safe with my voice. Why don't you... Hey. Hey, Simming! Simming! I know you took my matches. Bob and weave, you little rat! See? As you can tell, Overwatch Command, things are going swimmingly over on our end. Everyone is adjusting to our new life quite well. Answer our broadcasts and we can talk more about it. Doesn't that sound nice? So I'm getting into guy who's only seen Boss Baby, and so this podcast really has Boss Baby vibes. But yeah, those dulcet tones, the easy music, the creepy subject matter. Obviously, I'm going to get Night Vale vibes because I don't listen to enough podcasts. I need to listen to more podcasts. Comment your favorite horror podcast in the comments down there. But at the same time, The Riot, which again, how long have they been there already? Am I just missing when they say that every time because I'm distracted? But they're already doing Last Night in Rapture riots, and that's... Ooh, that's a vibe. And, oh, and I recognize that uh, stock jazz song from our Murphy Law episode. So that was really funny. All right, back to the video. Come in. Oh, sorry. Come in, 05s. Overseer. Whatever the fuck. Listen, hi. It's Harley. You know, from Site 107. Look. I know, I know, I know you're not listening to me. I know none of you are listening to me. You probably don't even care that we're gone. I'm a person. All of us in here, we're people. Except for Dr. Masterson's parakeets, but they don't count. You're just gonna leave us in here? I, I bet you've heard all of this. I bet you're he hearing every word of this broadcast and you're thinking to yourselves, those poor bastards. Sucks to be them, doesn't it? And you know what? Yeah! It does suck! Oh, shit. I just realized there are people working who have kids on the outside. Oof. <laughs> Do people have kids in Site 107? And also, are there still parakeets? I've, or would they have been eaten in the food riots? If they're being really nice to the parakeets, I appreciate the uh, animal non-cruelty. <clears throat> Overwatch Command, this is Site 107 reporting current status. While we suffered no small amount of property damage, no personnel were injured in the riot. At least not too badly. We're still here. Upper management had a meeting and decided that the only way out of this is to keep doing what we're all here to do in the first place. Study SCP-6320. See what we can find out. I'm assigned to report the goings-on as things develop. Keep a log of everything that happens on-site, with the skip, and otherwise. So, Overwatch Command... If you, by some impossible chance, happen to hear me, we'll be here. Securing, containing, and protecting. Like we always do, like we've always done. This has been Dr. Harley at Site 107. Over and out. And if someone else is intercepting this broadcast, find us. Preferably... Find us alive. Title drop! Holy cow! Okay, that was gripping. As a podcaster, man, the uh, production value, rad, everyone, so good. 
the sound, all the stuff like that was excellent. And story-wise, man, I can tell why people get hooked into this really fast. That was so interesting and dark, but that's what you expect in Foundation Land. Okay, yes, I am immediately interested in episode two, and you can go binge find us alive right now on YouTube or on the podcast platform of your choice. And don't forget to go to the link in the description and vote for them for the Audioverse Awards so we can get them that sweet, sweet clout. This has been Dr. Theron Sherman, over and out. Thank you for listening. Site42 Studios and its staff are funded by viewers like you. Please become a patron or visit our merch store at the link in our bio to support our work. Secure. Contain. Protect.